I'm here with Ron. He just took his CDL test. You got any tips for the guys at home? Man, the only thing I can say is if, uh, if you ever come to Prime, it's a great facility. They take care of you. They give you food to eat. They provide everything that you need to get to get your CDL. And if you ever come across with my PSD trainer, D, all I got to say is just trust the process, man. Trust the process. He got me to point A and point B within two weeks with no hassle. So he might be a tough guy, but trust me, just trust the process and he'll get you there. He doesn't require you to think. Just use your hands and your mind. I mean, your hands and your eyes. <laughs> Let your eyes tell your hands how to back. Exactly. It's not your about, mind. Not your mind. It's about a feeling out there. Huh? It's about watching that trailer and just reacting to it and doing it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So just trust them. And you have a TNT already, right? Yeah, I have my TNT. Uh, it's my cousin. He's been driving for a few years, and uh, basically, you know, he was the one that introduced me to Prime. He's just a great company. If you're trying to get your CDL, they pay for the process. All you have to do is just sign up, and they'll take care of you. And basically, you know, he's basically been walking me walking me through the whole thing. So I can just say that I'm grateful for being here. And, I, you know, today I got my CDL, so I'm happy as hell. Going to celebrate, eat some lunch, and just relax and be happy about it. Oh, yeah, eat some lunch, dude. I'm a big guy. I love <laughs> eating lunch. What yeah. you going to eat? I don't even know, to be honest, but when I, I know when I get there, I just... Cafeteria here, or are you going out somewhere? No, I'm going to eat at the cafeteria, cafeteria here at the Millennium. That the, They provide really good meals. They provide lunch and dinner. They vary every day, so you'll find something that you like to eat. They just switch it up every single day, so they have their, their, um, their set menu, and then they have the menu for dinner that changes every day, so... If you can't find something to eat, that's on you because they have something every day for every type of for person. everybody, huh? They have if you're vegetarian, they got those salads over there. Mm -hmm. They got um, they got the sandwich thing. Have you ate any of those sandwiches yet? No, I actually haven't. But one of your students, Big C, he's been really <laughs> he's really good at eating those sandwiches that they kind of like custom make for you. And he's been telling me I actually might try it today because he's been the telling flat me flat bread pizza is good. Over yeah, there too. he's, he's told that. me about that one too. So. I'm over gonna go over there and just just see what they have and you get know, a just, for real shake too. Yeah, they for also real have shake. shakes. Oh. They have smoothies. They have everything that you could dream of. It's basically like a trucker paradise. They yeah. got everything there. They even got a gym. They even got a place where you can um, play basketball. They have a massage place. You can get haircuts there. There's a washing machine and dryer. Basically everything you everything a trucker would want, they have it there. And you got the alley doc on your test. What did the examiner tell you? You got the hardest test you could have possibly got. Yes, right? I got the hardest setup. Basically, I had the, I had to do the full truck and trailer uh, pre-trip inspection. Basically, that means the whole thing from front to back, in cab. You know, but you'll know what that means. And also, I, I also got the my straight back, my offset to the left, and then I also got the alley doc, which is basically what he told me is like that's like the the hardest setup they have. So. And and the way we train, the way we train with you just looking at the spot and just putting it in there, no point system or none of that. The alley dock, little does he know, is actually easier than the parallel. It is it's, because it's all on the driver's <laughs> side. So yeah, if you're looking at the back of the trailer, it's all out one window. Yeah. You're like, boom, got it. it so is. he wanted the alley dock, I think. Yeah, I did. I actually yeah. wanted the alley dock to be. Alley honest. dock's way better because way like. Better. And that's what you're using out there in the real world most of the time. But mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly what my cousin said. He's the, like, if you, you got to get your alley dog down packed because that's one of the main backing maneuvers they're going to be using to back into docking from your shipper and receiver. So if you learn how to do that from every angle, then you'll be good. And, you know, it took me a while. You can ask the. It took me a while. Like in the first, like, 30 minutes, I wasn't getting it, but... Until it finally clicked and I calmed down and everything and it just kind of like set in stone. It I'm was, glad you brought that up. Why were you not getting it at first? Uh, basically, it was just me being um, in my own head too much. Like about I was, the test. Yeah, I was like it was close to test day. It was like a few days before test day that we had. He introduced the alley dock, and he stressed it. And I just was stressing way too much, way too much. And he went from like doing the other maneuvers, like yeah, I got this to. Alley dog time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. And I was all like, whoa. So we had a we had a stop and talk about it for yeah, a while. Yeah, he hey, gave look, me a little pep talk. You're tripping over here. You tripping. 
And then the one after that we had our talk, and I was all like, dude, think of this as every other day. Boom, bingo, started mm -hmm. knocking it out like a champ. I mean, it was awesome. And from there on out, we was getting it every single time, every single time. Yeah, and he, he did great out there. From the start, I don't think we had any problems. He started picking up, driving good, backing. Mm -hmm. We had that one day he was having trouble listening, but he started listening. Yeah. And that, boom, we're back on track. We were beast That kind of kind of goes with the first thing I said is like, you know, D has his own methods, a way of doing it. And all I can say is just trust the process. Just trust the process, guys. Just all I can say he will tell you certain things that you may not like to hear or it may not make sense, but trust me when he tells you. He does the thinking for you. All you have to worry about is your hands and eyes. Make sure you know where that trailer is going and just follow your hands and where you need to take it. There you go. It's that easy. Backing's that easy. Mm -hmm. Once you get that filling and it clicks, you got it. Like, it's all downhill after the offset. Like, you find out how to do the offset, and you pretty much can back after that. Because mm -hmm. straight line back, we're figuring out how to move the trailer. And the offset, it was, we're figuring out how to to control it. Or, yeah, I said that backwards. Straight line back, we're figuring out how to control it. And the offset is where we're figuring out how to maneuver it, how to really move it. Yeah. So, straight lines, control like, hey, I can make it go here, 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 just mm -hmm. a little bit, staying in control. And then the offset is, like, maneuvering it. Can I move this sucker? Boom. Moved it. Mm -hmm. But we we had a lot of fun out there. I mean, we, yeah. we really did. We had a good time. Had a good time. We uh, we did. We had a great time. He He's a lot of fun. Like, he's going to be great out there. The examiner, he was one of the hardest examiners. Like, he's really, really strict. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, no, nah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and he, he takes his job really serious. He doesn't joke around. He's, like, real dry, real dry. Mm. He comes back and tells you, like, I've got lectures from him before about, like, hey, you need to work with this on your student, this on your student, this on your student. And I take it as help. Like, he's helping me out. He's, he's as strict as I am when I'm on a the drives to make sure that my students are safe like he's strict he reminds me of myself kind of so he's real strict and whenever he comes back and says that you're going to be one heck of a driver like he told you mm -hmm. bro you should take that to heart yeah he told me like, that i did a really good job and that you know he felt really comfortable with, you know me driving and he said that i offset it and parallel i mean offset it and alley dog perfectly no yeah. points so that's that's great that means a lot and your cousin man he's gonna really be impressed with your backing yeah so hey you probably be flexing on him too yeah. out there <laughs> i'm about to show him what i learned i didn't come from purple home. car gang over here yep i got my purple <laughs> car today that's so hard that means i'm officially on the prime team so if you guys ever want to if you ever guys come here and see people with the purple badges that's how you know we are hired people and the green badges are for the students so he said we're hired hired it sounded like he said hired but he, he said hired yeah <laughs> i was like wow you had already got that big since you got the purple badge i'm feeling i was it. waiting for you to say the green badges <laughs> y'all are beneath us nah, y'all nah. ain't on our level that's no, what i, I was expecting I say that, to say. but you know you'll, you'll you'll catch the you'll catch the vibes catch the vibes yeah oh, oh so the purple cars act better or what? Yeah. well they 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 have this like uh aura to them you know they're real drivers a real driver <laughs> real drivers but we we had a great time and uh welcome to the family you need anything you got my phone number yeah so, appreciate it everything you know appreciate the help appreciate it getting me where i need to be at and you know basically you know just trusting me and i'm me trusting you to get where we need to go and basically be a great and safe truck driver the most yeah. important thing is about being safe if you feel like it's not safe, recheck it, get out and look, do whatever you can because you do not want to hit anybody on the road, hit anything on the road, and basically have your, you know, four eyes and four ears everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, make sure you know everything that's going on around you because that's how you become safe and successful is knowing everything around you. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of mirror checking, a lot of multitasking, but, you know... Congratulations again, and Thank we're you. gonna get out of here. So, leave some comments down below. Like, if you want to know something, leave some comments. Um, Martinez, he'll answer them all because I don't feel like I'm <laughs> today. Wait, I'm gonna make him answer them all. 
it, you know so we're out of here and like i said congratulations he did awesome out there and you know all it takes is a little listening from a student and you can make greatness out of them and mm -hmm, he's, he's about to go flex on his cousin he's out mm -hmm. like comment and subscribe ring the bell get my latest lives get my newest videos also in the description there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter my recruiter's good don't forget to drop that referral code COXDJL also my phone number is 417-894-8098 drop me a call text me something